us. Here I am, Sci-Fi Dude One, back with you again here at Six Flags over in Texas. I'm gonna meet up with some of my friends today. Uh, we're back here again, and we're gonna have another good time today. We're gonna get some updates on the park and see a few things, and yeah, and then we're gonna yeah you know, get get a bite to eat while we're here too. Uh, we get to eat free on our dining passes, which is good. That's what it's all about, in my opinion. And it's a nice overcast day where it's not too hot out here, so we've got some good, decent weather. Lots of folks coming in the park today. And it's not too crowded yet. It's gonna, the park's going to be open 11 till 7 today. It's, a, it's usually open on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 till 7 or so. And we see out here that they're selling masks outside the park. You can buy a mask on your way in, as a matter of fact. That's pretty cool. Lots of designs, but I've already got my mask. Hmm. Next up, when I get inside the park, I'm going to meet up with my friends and we're going to get our flash passes. We get flash passes. We have them as part of our membership. And that lets us, that lets us get on all the rides. Without having to wait in line, we got the flat, platinum flash pass, which we means we get on rides almost immediately without having to wait, and that's well worth it. Supposedly, they're working on a plan to have flash passes. If you have it on your membership, you can use it at any Six Flags park. If that's the case, it really will be worth the, the membership or having it added to your membership. And we're on our way inside. Hats and sunglasses off going in the security section here, which is temperature screening, as you can see right there. Mm. Mm. This is a blue tent. You go through here, they take your temperature. And they screen to make sure you're not running a temperature. real simple. Then from here you just walk through a little detector and once you get through that you're in the park. They are now inspecting bags apparently. But anyway, now that we're past all that, we're going to be inside the park here and waiting. We're going to go through the members entrance. This is why wide ride over here because we're a member. We're a Diamond Elite member, and we don't have to wait in line like these other people here. We get in the park early. You see all those people waiting? Well, we don't have to go through that. We get in early. Hmm? And we're getting in early today. Because we are members, and here we are in the membership entrance, which gets in earlier than the regular people, the regular season pass holders and the regular uh, one-day ticket holders. Those poor slobs are right back there uh, that don't have memberships or don't have season passes. They don't get in early. Well, too bad. Oh. I have to get it up over there. Well, now we're inside the park. And we are headed toward Flash Pass entrance, which is where I'm going to head right now. That way I can go ahead and get my Flash Pass. And I'll be back with you right after I get my flash pass. We're coming on in here to get my flash pass. All right. All righty. I just got my flash pass. Uh, that's it right there. You can see it's 11.02. I'm waiting on my friends Mike and Jeff to get here. And uh, as soon as they get here, we're going to move on into the park and have a good time today. I'm here at Six Flags over Texas. My friend Jeff Willoughby has just joined me here in the park. My our other friend Mike, he's coming out. He's coming here. He comes right here. Point at, point at my subscribers, Mike. We just got our uh, flash passes, and we're all going to go in to see go into the park. I think the first thing we're going to get on is El Diablo, right, Jeff? Yeah, we've already set it. We've already set our flash passes for El Diablo. And I'm gonna show you that right there. You can see I'm, I've uh, queued up El Diablo on that pass. Yeah I, can, yeah, I guess you can see it in that category. And we're going to go get on El Diablo. 
And my mad, my friend Mad Mike is is uh, queuing up El Diablo on his flash pass. And my other friend Jeff Willoughby is queuing up El Diablo on his flash pass. Mm -hmm. There he goes right there. He's getting it done. We're going to go start by riding El Diablo. You know, today is an overcast day here at Six Flags Over Texas, and uh, it's it's not as hot as it normally is, and that's that's good because uh, it makes you feel more energized. Doesn't, isn't that right, Mike? Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Uh, Harley Quinn's Insanity is closed today, so... Well, that's one ride closed. They, they, they also have uh, Runaway Mountain and Justice League Battle for Metropolis closed. Anything indoors like that, uh, any indoor ride is closed for the time being, uh, which is why we sure hope they get uh, a vaccine for the COVID virus soon so we can get over this mess. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. He's got it queued up. He's got his ride queued up. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's good. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. All right, moseying towards El Mercado de la Plaza, which is a store here at Six Flags Over Texas. Mass available at select locations. We got cat, we got capes, we got shirts in here. There's Six Flags American uh, flag shirts that have the United States on there with an American flag. That's nice. And uh, 19, 1961 is the year the Six Flags first opened. That's that's what that shirt means right there, 1961. Those are cool shirts. You've got some copper tone in here if you want to put on some sunblock or sunscreen. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, it's not copper tone. It's actually ocean, po ocean potion, which is just about as good. They got some solar keychains right there. Solar keychains, yeah. Welch's candy. Uh, backpacks, fanny packs. And a sort of thing. That's a cool looking shirt right there. Yeah. Lots, of, oh, ooh, lots of assorted niggas. Also have some name keychains with names on them. We're gonna head this direction. Oh, parking joy. And my friend Jeff Willoughby is right there. He's getting himself uh, he's getting himself a Justice League mask. Justice League? Yeah, all the kids size. Kids size? Do you have one for adults? Um we might have one over at the Justice League store. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, thanks. Jeff is in the market for a Justice League mask. Right. Mike is just in the market. That one's just for kids. We got some Batman paraphernalia back there. That looks pretty cool. Awesome. We are on our way to the El Diablo. On our way to El Diablo by way means of the Mexican section, the Mexico section here. They have authentic Mexican music playing with a Mexican restaurant, which is actually just a sports bar. It used to be a Mexican restaurant back in the day, but it's still a pretty good place to hang out. And here's another sanitation station. Here at, here at the Sanitize Here station, you see these all out all throughout the park. You can see my friend Mike Burden sanitizing his hands, and I'm going to walk up here and grab some as you can watch me do that. You can do that and sanitize your hands. Just like that. Do the other hand here. Actually, there's some coming out, so I'm just going to use that. All right, sanitized hands. Now we're going to make our way down to El Diablo with my friend's Mad Mike. He's right there. And my other friend Jeff, Jeff Willoughby right there. And we're going to make our way to El Diablo. We are now approaching El Diablo, which is a 100-foot Larson loop here at Six Flags Over Texas. You can see it right there. I'm going to get a better look at it here. It is the biggest one of currently available of these Larson looping rides. They're pretty popular rides nowadays. You see them in all the parks. Here's some gargoyles. We're going to see those. How's that for a mean-looking gargoyle right there? You see these all lined up throughout the, the queue line here. It's a very nice nicely themed queue area here. I'm liking this quite a bit. So we're on our way up here now where we're going to have to take off everything except our face mask to get on the ride. And we're going to head on up the road here and there's no line right now. And I'm interested to see if they, yes they do, they've got log flume. Yeah we can, we can ride the log flume guys. Uh, single, ri single riders guys, single riders. No, we're in the flash pass. Man. You're in single rider line dude, this is the flash pass over here. Go back and look at it, dude. It's, this is Flash Pass over here. My friend Mike is confused today.
and the El, El Cerdero is running, that means we can get on that. Uh, we can get on the log ride today, I guess, since they got it running. Not right now. No, not right now. We're getting on El Diablo now. But we're going to get on log ride a little bit later. Alrighty, we just got off of a good ride on El Diablo, which is the uh, Larson Loop right there, the big, giant Larson Loop, the 100-foot-tall Larson Loop. We just got off that. Now we are making our way up to the Flash Pass entrance of La Vibora. And La Vibora is the Intamin bobsled ride that's been here since the mid-1980s. It was originally called Avalanche Bobsled and Sarajevo Bobsled when it was at Magic Mountain. They moved it here the following year and changed it to Avalanche Bobsled. It's been here ever since, now called La Vibora, meaning the snake in Spanish. It is our next ride on the list. And you can see that it has a colorful layout. Oh, thanks, yes, we have. All righty. And yeah, we're about to get on, and we're going to have a good time. See you back in there in a minute. And yeah, we're now coming off El Diablo. There's Jeff and Mad Mike. We just had a good ride. You like that ride on El Diablo, Mike? The El Diablo? Yes, this one not so much. Uh, not El Diablo, but El, La, La, La Vibora. Yeah, La Vibora is the bobsled. That's it right there. It's a little bit rough, but it's it's still a wild ride, I would say. You just gotta, you're going to get some bumps and bruises. But that's an old classic Intamin bobsled ride. A lot of fun. Well, I have the opportunity. Getting off El Diablo, or actually La Vibora. El Diablo's right next door. I'm going to advertise my Titan shirt. There it is right there. Yeah, this is a colorful orange and teal shirt that uh, you can get here at the Titan store over at the, near the Titan ride here at Six Flags over Texas. It is a gorgeous shirt, as you can see. Uh, spells out the word Titan. has all the has all the stats on the ride itself, and it's orange and teal just like the ride. Uh, it's a beautiful shirt. I'm sure glad to have it. I love this shirt. I have to wear it some other places, not just here at the park. Be back with you in a minute. Here at Six Flags, we're disappointed to find out that the uh, la uh, Diamond Lounge is not open yet, but we're going to be here at Johnny Rockets. Here's my friend Jeff. Uh, Mad Mike is on his way. Uh, and I'm eating a cheesesteak with tater tots, uh, which is very tasty. I'm going to be eating that. He's got his uh, meal from uh, Chop Six there. And we're going to be eating here because it seems like a lot of the stuff is closed right now. There's not, there's not very many places open. Uh, some of them you can't even get your drink refilled. It's pretty bad out here right now. Yeah. I guess service is not good at all. But anyway, we're going to have a good day here at uh, Six Flags, even with all that. It's a good thing I already got my drink refilled. Yeah, I got my, I had to get mine refilled here too. All righty. And we're going to see our friend. My friend Mike should be here in a minute when he gets here. Yeah, nice window view. When he gets here, we'll be eating and having some more fun. And my friend Mad Mike is enjoying his uh, cheese steak there and charging, no, up his, charging up his cell phone. He was enjoying that. It was pretty good, though. We had some good lunch here today. We're having a good time here at Six Flags Over Texas, even though some of the service isn't the greatest in the world. A lot of places are closed during the pandemic. That's bad, but we're making out pretty good, all things considered. And the Ma Uncles is open across the street there. That's good. But maybe we'll get that later. And we're about theme park squirrel. Do what now? Theme park squirrel. Theme park squirrel. Yep, there's a squirrel right there. He's squirreling around. There he is. There he goes. Yeah, he's a squirrel. He knows he's a squirrel. He's got the. He lives the life of a squirrel. Yeah, he, he sees me taking his picture and he wants to get his face in the frame. He, he can see me over here doing video of him. Look at him. That's cute. Are there any today? Squirrels have an easy life compared to humans. There might, there could be some Texas thrill seekers out here. Jeff's got his, Jeff's got his Texas thrill seeker shirt on right there. That's our group that we're in. On Facebook. On Facebook, yeah, we're members of a thrill seeker group called the Texas Thrill Seekers, which is big and getting bigger. And we're hoping to go down to SeaWorld later this year and, and take a ride on the Texas Stingray, the new ride they opened down there this year. At SeaWorld. At SeaWorld. At SeaWorld San Antonio. That's correct. And we're in Studio, Studio 6F, which is a very cool store here at Six Flags Over Texas. They got some really cool shirts and uh, merchandise. <laughs> oh my God. Look at her. Uh, that's hilarious. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, that's funny. I'll be back. I love it. 
That's cute. Oh my. Yeah, that's uh. Oh my God, look at her butt. <laughs> God, that's cute. Mm -hmm. This is a store we come and do once in a while. They got some really cool. They got some really cool uh, stuff in here. Dragon Ball Z, my hero academia, team Naruto. Yeah, some nice shirts in here. Play music in here, and uh, yeah, some nice hats. Quick silver, mm -hmm. cool stylish stuff right here. NASA, I like that. Mm -hmm. Six Flags. Yeah, they got some really cool merchandise in here. Golden Girls. The struggle was real. I like that. That's cute. They got a lot of really cool ones. MTV right there. They got a lot of. He had tacos without me. MTV. He had tacos without me. Hey, Joe, they got a PlayStation. He had tacos without me. That's cute. I like that. And this is I hate tacos. Said no one ever. Okay, but first tacos. I'm guessing this is all about tacos. Let's see this one. Dude, did you eat the last unicorn? No. That's cute. ACDC. I like long walks away from people. That's true. The struggle is real. Yes, it is. He got his arms are too short to pick up the sandwich. Row, row, row your O. Mm-hmm. More ACDC type stuff here and uh, new phone who dis. That sounds like a horrible idea of what time. Reckless. All right, we got some real cool stuff in here, yeah. One of the cooler stores here at Six Flags is, is Studio Six. Mm, I'll be right back, or I'll be back. Yeah, that's Terminator. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. And we're going to be on our way out here. Misfits. I like that. Misfits. And a lot of cool knickknacks. Sunglasses, uh, cool jewelry here. Yeah, uh, really cool stuff in here. Liking this quite a bit. Cool cups and whatnot. Yeah, really cool. Mm -hmm. And that says Young Money, Cat Money, Billionaires. That's cute. We're on our way out. Yes, we are. We're gonna head on out the door here. Rejoin our friends, Mad Mike and Jedi Jeff. We're gonna head to the El Cerradero right now. Oh, I'm sorry. And we're gonna have a good ride on El Cerradero. We're now entering Coaster Candy. Uh, this has uh, the usual assortment of candy and goodies. I'm in here to get a cup, which they supposedly happen. They got uh, they got fans, which feels good in here. And I love those big fans. The big air I think those are portable air conditioning. They feel really good. Looks like I think they're water coolers is what they are. Yeah, that's basically what they are. They feel they feel really good. Stuffed animals and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. And loads of candy, all kind of candy and sugary stuff here that I don't need to eat. Taffy. This stuff right here, which is really good, but not good for you. That's good, but not good for you right there, that yeah, stuff. Who cares when you're in a zinc Yeah. <laughs> Sour punch. Nerds and runts. And other assorted candies in here. Yeah, it's really cool. But I'm here to get a cup. Let's see if they got them. Hey, I think you gotta ask one of them. Okay, just one, just a second, Mike. 
Did you need help with anything? Uh, yeah, we're trying to. I'm trying to get one of those, those souvenir cups that this metallic that you, you can, they say you can trade in your membership cup on that or something. Uh, yeah, well, so we don't sell the actual cups here. We only sell the, the holders, but you can yeah, get, get the cups. Uh, membership. Uh, so, does it come with your membership? Do I now? Yeah, I have a membership. Yeah, so if you go to the front gate. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's the only place to get it? Yeah, to get your membership cup. Yeah. I mean, not the membership cup. There's a metallic version that they now have. That, can you buy that in the stores or is that not available? Um, I know they sell some at the food stands. Oh, some at the food stands? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll check that out because I just want to buy one. I don't want to have to swap my other cup. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll just do that then. No problem. Thanks. All right, we'll head out that way and we'll get the cup at the food stands. And we'll be back in a minute. We're seeing the Silver Star Carousel, which, as you can see, normally has water and some fountains right here, but they had to, due to the pandemic, they had to get rid of all the water and it's now just a derelict. The, the carousel is still in operation, but it's, uh, it's kind of stripped down a bit. I mean, it's still in operation, but a lot of the theming has been kind of removed a bit. This is where they normally have the Halloween show, one of the Halloween shows right here on this. Whoa. Uh, deck, but we're told that they may not have it this year, which is so sad because of the pandemic. In the meantime, in the meantime, you may notice that I have my Superman mask on. I just got that mask at the uh, at the uh, Looney Tunes theater, Looney Tunes shop, and it goes well with my shirt, I think. And unfortunately, they don't have any of the member steel cups that they you know the aluminum cups that they now have available for members if you want to trade in your old plastic cup on a new one you can do that at memberships but they don't have any available at the moment so we'll try to do that next time we're out here in the meantime we'll make our way to El Acerodero which is what we're going to ride next and my main man Mad Mike Burton he's making his vlog right now he likes make he likes vlogging but he he has memory problems on his phone, so sometimes he uploads in 280p or 230p or something like that. Yeah. We are now entering... What's the name of this place again? What's that? What's the name of this place? Casa de Six Flags. Oh yeah, Casa de Six Flags. I keep forgetting the name of this place. Well, it's got all kind of cool stuff like Wayne Foundation shirts. Wayne, Ind Wayne Industry shirts and then Gotham City Police Department shirts and Gotham City Police Department caps like and cups and stuff like that. A lot of Batman paraphernalia. Yeah, they got lanyards. lanyards, all that kind of stuff. A lot of Technicolor stuff over there too. A really cool, really cool looking stuff. Batman hats and stuff. Shirts, really nice colored shirts there. Justice League hats. Super. There's a little Superman hat with an American flag on it there. I like that. A lot of stuff for the kitties over here. One of them, Batman, Superman. This this is not really what I'd call a Batman shirt, but it's got a Batman emblem on it anyway. It's one of those psychedelic shirts. Yeah. The Mighty Mike. Superman. Superman. There he is right there. We're gonna make our way to El Cerro Dero, all the way over here. And I'll be back with you in a minute. I gotta check into some rides, but I'll be back with you here in just a minute as soon as we get over there. We gotta go through the Spain section. We are now headed towards the log flume ride, El Cerro Dero. Me and my friends Jeff and Mike are right there next to me. He, he's a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. So we always use this to his last name and Hayden. We always say that you don't be hating. Yeah. Don't get mad. Hey Mike, I would like to I would like to Hey Mad Mike, I would like to compliment you on your fast walking speed. You are much better than you were a while back when you couldn't hardly walk. I like that. Your foot's getting better, brother. Thank you. Because you're gonna need that good foot when we go to Disney, I tell you that. Oh yeah. And I wanna enjoy it. Well we're gonna enjoy it. Right now we're headed into the heavily themed log flume ride, which I can't is called. Wait to ride Tron Light Cycle. Oh, that's going to be awesome, El Acero Dero. We're headed into that. We're going to be getting on in just a minute, and we'll be about off in just a minute. On our way off the log flume ride, there it is, right there. This is actually flume too. The original flume is not operational and possibly will be removed in future years. So we're just on our way down the exit ramp here and getting off the ride, heading towards Jedi Jeff. 
There he is. He had, you enjoy that ride on the log flume, brother? Yeah. Good way to relax, huh? So what ride were y'all thinking about doing next? Right. Well, let's head on over to Mr. Mike to see what he's got. Well, Mr. Mike, uh, what ride do y'all want to do next? Uh, why don't we go ahead and go get our snack? Yeah. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. What, yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and go do our snack. Well, I say... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna order it on the app because I want to get an extra scoop and you can't really do that on the app, I don't think, can you? You might can. Let me see. Uh, we'll check. We'll be back with you in a minute. We're gonna go... Uh, we just got off the log flume. That was fun. And this is actually an overcast day here. You can probably see that it's very cloudy. That means it's not as quite as hot. So we're gonna have a good time today here. Gonna go get our snack. Be back with you. We're at uh, Smith's Ice Cream Parlor, which features the Blue Bell Ice Cream with Mad Mike and Jedi Jeff with his earbud earbuds in. Those are nice new earbuds, the wireless kind. And Mike's, Mike's devouring his, his pink thing ice cream. I've got me a Sunday that's got M and M's, uh, Reese's Pieces, or uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, whipped cream, and and, and uh, chocolate to uh, chocolate topping. You can get that on the dining pass for two bucks. Dining class plus two bucks, you can get what I'm looking at right now, or what you're looking at right now. That's a Sunday, uh, two toppings plus some chocolate syrup and some whipped cream, uh, it, 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 and two scoops. So it's pretty good. And we're gonna give it a try. What do you think, Mike? You don't want to get you a Sunday? Maybe no. later. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe next time. Yeah. Well, my, my, to Mike, two dollars is expensive, so he can't. I guess he can't cough that up. <laughs> okay. Well, when you had to. <laughs> Spend money on other things. You gotta. I understand, brother. I understand, brother. Those girlfriends are expensive, aren't they, brother? <laughs> that's yeah, why. That's all, why. All, all, all three of them. All three of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all righty, we're getting on the Texas Sky Screamer right now. That's my friend Jeff and my other friend Mad Mike. We are disappointed to see that the uh, Diamond Lounge, which is right there, we're disappointed to see that that's going to be closed today. That's too bad. That was an air-conditioned environment. It was a nice place to rest and take your, sit down a while if you're a Diamond member. And hopefully they'll have it back open. In the meantime, we're going to be getting on the Sky Screamer, which is right there, and uh, we'll be having a good time today. We're using our flash passes. And 15-13, uh, that means it's 3-13 uh, in the afternoon. It's a 24-hour clock, and we are going to have some fun getting on the Sky Screamer right now. Well, we've just found out to our dismay that the Texas Sky Screamer, right when we sat down to ride, it, it shut down for technical difficulties. Man, that's, that's some of the worst timing I've ever seen. You get on a ride, you're sitting there, and it shuts down. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, we're going to walk around and figure out what we're going to do next. There's, Matt, there's my friend Jedi Jeff. He's not too happy about the developments. But hopefully they'll have this back open later. And we're here getting on the new Texas Giant roller coaster. Uh, and we're going to ride that right before we get on the Titan and we're going to go eat. We're still having to worry here at Six Flags Over Texas on this pandemic uh, weekend here where all the pandemic uh, emergency, er, pandemic procedures are in place, wearing masks and social distancing. And there's my friend right there, Jedi Jeff Willoughby, tugging on his mask. And my other friend, Mad Mike, is right there wearing his Joker cap. He's got it backwards. And we're going to be getting on this ride in a few minutes. Then we're going to be heading over to the Titan. We are now boarding the Titan here at Six Flags Over Texas. My Mad Mike and Jedi Jeff are about to ride this, and we're going to go eat right after this. Mad Mike is filming with his pretend camera there. And uh, yeah, we're going to get on this here in just a minute. Go get a bite to eat afterwards. Mike likes to show off, as you can see. And all pandemic measures are in place here today. As you can see, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the ride going up the, the lift hill. There it goes up the hill. Well, we're all here at JB Smokehouse. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, looks like a Jedi Jeff is digging into his uh, uh, turkey leg right there. That looks pretty tasty. Yeah, that, that, that does look good. I'm getting the uh, waffle fries covered with cheese and bacon plus my uh, barbecue brisket sandwich right there. Let me uh, pull that up a little bit. 
brisket with barbecue sauce. This would actually piled pretty good with brisket. Mike, meanwhile, is enjoying his brisket-covered nachos. He likes those. He's a he's a nacho fiend with brisket. And and we are here at JB's, which we are. It's not too crowded today. Um, it's it's very cool and air conditioned on the inside. There, they've got an extra section over there. They haven't really completed it yet, but they're building that to to be another indoor section over there with air conditioning. Hopefully, hopefully they'll get that uh, completed here because. Uh, in case it's full in here, we can still go in that section because it's, it's still, it'll still have the air conditioning. And, yeah, just another fun day out here, out here at the park. We're all enjoying our meals. And let me tell you, you can get, you can get cheese and bacon added to your fries for 99 cents. If you are a Diamond Elite member, you get a 50% discount. Just, just, just put, it, put it on your, when you do the ordering app, just uh, go on there and tap that you want to add that to your fries. And put in your if you want to pay pay with a credit card, you can add it to your add it to your uh, add it as a form of payment in the app, and you can pay pay anything on that anytime you want. You can just bring it up, and it'll and you can pay it on your credit card, just like you do with other uh, services. So just keep that in mind, and we'll be back with you. Yeah. Well, we are now headed out of the park. <laughs> We've had a good day today. I mean, this has been a fairly cool day. It's a cloud cover, so it hadn't been as hot as it might, might otherwise be. And we are headed to the parking lot now. Mad Mike and Jedi Jib, we've actually had a pretty good time. Used our dining passes. Have a good day. Have a good day. And uh, yeah, another fun day. Next, uh, of course, next week we're all going to head out to Hurricane Harbor. Hopefully. Hopefully, we're going to try to head out to Hurricane Harbor anyway. Yeah. So, did we enjoy our day today at the park, guys? Absolutely. Absolutely. Got to do a few things, use our dining pass. Well, just, just basically take it easy and uh, enjoy our uh, camaraderie, so to speak, our fellowship. Yeah. And, of course, we are all members of the Texas Thrill Seekers. We do get together with other Texas, Texas Thrill Seekers from time to time, and when we do, we will vlog on that as well. Now, me and my friend Mad Mike here are planning to head out to Disney World next year. We're hoping Jedi Jeff can come with us, but even if he doesn't. I'm going to try to have a few special guests with me. And we are going to we are gonna ride some of the newer attractions, including Guard, uh, Galaxy's Edge and uh, uh, Rise of the Resistance. We're also going to try out the new Tron Light Cycle Coaster and all the other great attractions there. Uh, there's some new stuff coming in uh, coming into Disney these days, and we're going to try and get out there and get you a vlog on some of those. So be staying tuned. Because between me and my friend Mad Mike, we're going to have a great time, aren't we, Mike? Oh, yeah. You know it. <laughs>